If you guys would like to win this free iPhone 8, all you guys have to do is follow these simple rules. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying you subscribed and you'll be entered to win at the end of the month. Yo, what is going on guys? It is District Training here, bringing you guys this brand new video. Now today guys, we're going to be going over the 5 facts that every YBN Namir fan should know. Now make sure you guys watch this video all the way through because I'm going to be hiding 3 free Amazon gift card codes for you guys to win. It is getting near Christmas, so I'm going to be doing a lot more gift card giveaways and stuff like that. So guys, just make sure you guys watch this video all the way through. It's very simple and you guys can maybe win yourself a free $20 gift card. Now the notification shoutout is going to this guy right here on the screen. If you would like a shoutout at the start of my next video to help you gain a lot of subscribers, subscribers just turn on my channel notifications leave a like on the video and then comment down below something about YB and Namir whether it's your favorite song or just write something about him down below in the comments so guys we're going to jump straight into this video so starting at the number five thing that every YB and Namir fan should know is just going to be his basic information every fan must know his basic information so don't worry guys I'm going to tell you guys right now because he is starting like he's a pretty much of a new rapper so not many people actually know all of his basic information so YB and Namir was born December 18th 1999 in Burn Birmingham. He's currently 17 years old, although his 18th birthday is just in a couple weeks, which is pretty exciting. His real name is Nick Santana, and he grew up listening to rappers from the Bay Area like E40, Snoop Dogg, and then later started listening to people like Mozzie. SOB and RBE. Namur actually used to play baseball as a kid and he said in an interview he was that kid that would only play second base in left field. Now something that every fan of YBN definitely should know about his childhood is going to be about his friend Valley that actually passed away when they were both younger. Namir and him actually were like really close friends and he ended up did passing away because he had a really like weak heart. I'm pretty sure that's what he said in an interview. Something about his heart there was a problem and he actually passed away while he was sleeping. So he actually just released a song of a part five thing to valley if you haven't listened to it by now i'm surprised you haven't because right now it's at like two million views in only a couple of days which is absolutely insane but that is what that song is about is about his friend valley So jumping into the fourth fact that every fan should definitely know, and that's going to be what YBN actually stands for. So YBN is actually a little group that Namur and some friends made, and it's actually called Young Boss Then N-Word. Now obviously you guys know what the last word is, but I don't really want to say it because it's kind of disrespectful, and then YouTube will also demonetize my video. So there's a few people that is in YBN that Namur actually talks about a lot in his music, like Glizzy and Almighty J, but there's also a few others in the group that he doesn't really talk about in music. Namur actually started it from the ground up and it stands for the mindset that they all have. When they first started it, they all had the same mindset that they all wanted to be like young bosses of something and they always had that type of boss mindset in their heads. Namur actually said in an interview that he's going to be riding with the ones that he started with until everybody in the team makes it. So I'm assuming he's talking about YBN. I'm assuming he said that they'll grind together until they all make it, which is really cool. I kind of wish I had like a friend group like that. But in reality, I only have about four friends. But if you guys want to be my friend, make sure you guys leave a like on the video and comment down below saying you would be my friend because I'm looking for some. So jumping into the third thing that every fan should definitely know and this is going to be what his most standout moment to date is. He said in an interview and I quote, rubbing off the paint when it was blowing up on world star hip hop. I knew the song was hard and everybody was telling me it was hard as well and I was getting tons of email and texts from people congratulating me on how good my song was doing. Now I gotta say that was probably my most standout moment by far but it was also from my mom telling me she was proud. So that's what he said in the double XL interview. Now honestly this song that he posted was was definitely the song that blew up his name now he was already kind of blowing up on soundcloud here and there but he even said in a different interview the fact that he did a visual on the song is what helped it blow up even more which honestly does make a lot of sense because when it has a music video and if people also like the music video and the song they'll always come back to just watch it either way and that's not the only song that he really has blowing up for him since his fame from that song he's been also been releasing tons of other really good songs like glizzy geeking and then letter to valley part five he also does remixes of very popular songs like Gucci Gang and then Tay K's The Race. I'm actually a really big fan of the Gucci Gang remix he did. I'm also just gonna play a little bit of it right now, just in case you've never heard it before. Hey. Yeah. Hey. They stop making guns when they make yours. All you do 
always type on them keyboards. All right, guys, so starting at the number two fact, we have Nummer's goal to accomplish in hip hop. Now, it's pretty crucial for all of his fans to definitely know this, just because, like, if he ever actually accomplishes it, which yeah, I think he honestly will, you'll know, and then you can congratulate him on any social media. Now, he said on the XXL website, and I quote, I'm really the only one out of Birmingham doing this right now. I want to be that voice because I want to put my circle on the map. In my city, I open the doors and I want to do bigger things. I, I just want everybody to eat, and I'm the voice of the city right now. You feel me? So, as you could tell, Namur is actually a really mature 17 year old. Now, I bet if you would have, like, asked Lil Pump this question, he would have had the most ridiculous answer. Like, no hate to Lil Pump or anything. I'm just saying, though. That's one thing I really enjoy about Namur is that he actually sounds like he's been in the rap game for a very long time with fame, but in reality, he's actually only really had fame for about a month now. To be honest with you, I think Namur actually has the chance of being one of those top rappers just because how good his music is. His lyrics are things that he actually went through on the come up and I really enjoy how he's not a mumble rapper. Like all these new school rappers are and I'm not really hating them or anything but it's just kind of really refreshing to hear a new voice and then something that's actually real. That's been a huge discussion this year especially like yeah like this year how the mumble rappers are kind of taking over a little bit. I want to know your guys' insight on that. Do you guys really care about the mumble rappers or do you, do you guys kind of like like the Eminem, you know, Jay-Z, where it's not really like mumble rapping at all. It's more of just lyrics. Now take Lil Pump Gucci Gang, for example. That song right now is number three on Hot Billboard 100. And literally he says Gucci Gang 52 times in the song. I'm not really hating on the song or anything. I'm just kind of saying like it doesn't really have any meaning at all. So let me just know what you guys think of that down below. All right, guys. So jumping into the first fact that every fan should definitely know. Now, before I tell you guys, I want you guys to comment down below right now saying YBN Nemer is the greatest if you guys are watching to this point because if you are i'm gonna go check out your channel and leave you some advice on your videos all right guys so for the first fact we're gonna be talking about how ybn number started making music now every single fan should definitely know this because it's very important to know especially if he blows up and becomes one of your favorite rappers or one of the like biggest rappers of all time it's good to know all these facts so Nemer started making music when he only was 14 years old he said he had a little rock band and he was just recording music with his friends for fun after he found out that you can use the microphone that came with the game rock band after he found out that you can use the microphone that came with the game rock band he would then put a napkin over the mic to make the pop better and then he started taking rap serious from there he said that he always took rap serious but it wasn't as serious as he takes it now it was more of just a hobby but now he just started taking it really serious because rapping is actually changing his life and his family's life he loves making music with his ybn boys and just anyone in general he said in an interview that he would basically work with any rapper near his size or bigger it doesn't really matter who you are he would love to just collaborate with other people and just really get his name out there which is a very good thing to see as you can see like Lil Pump people ask him to do features and stuff like that and he says no he wants all kinds of money and stuff like that. He did say his favorite person to make music with was YBN Almighty J which has been a longtime friend of his. They've been friends since middle school and now they're in high school together and they're about to graduate together also as well. But anyways guys that has been the five facts that every YBN Nightmare fan should know. I just have a little bit more to talk about if you guys want to stick around. If you guys just came for the facts you don't have to but guys I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support we've been getting recently. I like to do this after every month on my channel. I'll just talk about how my channel has done the past month. And guys, this month has easily been my best month of all time. This month, we've gained over 3 million video views and we've gained about 17,000 subscribers. So if you are one of those subscribers, thank you so much for coming to the channel and sticking with me. That honestly means the world to me. We also got 3 million views, which is an all-time high for me. I still remember when I started YouTube, I always wanted to hit 100K views in one month. And now we're sometimes getting that per video or more so i just want to thank you guys so much for that that's honestly awesome but if you are new to the channel and you're still watching to this point make sure you guys hit that subscribe button i make videos all the time about rappers and everything like that if you want go to my channel watch some videos that will appeal to you but anyways guys it's been district trending i'm out if you guys would like to win this free iPhone 8, all you guys have to do is follow these simple rules. All you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, turn on channel notifications, leave a like on the video, and then comment down below saying you subscribed and you'll be entered to win at the end of the month. 